Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here with my Samsung Epic Touch 4G here to do a video showing you how to basically reset your Odin counter on your on your phone. Uh, what it's going to do is if you ever go into Odin, you'll notice there's a number that lets you know how many times you flashed a custom kernel, a custom, uh, basically anything through Odin, it lets you know how many times that it has worked and I don't know if Sprint's going to uh, basically watch this and say hey look it's clear you rooted this device anything like that um, but this method will actually reset that counter it's also actually going to get rid of the uh, splash screen the yellow triangle splash screen and put it back to the stock boot up screen so just a heads up there it will do that as well but the main thing the main reason I'm showing you this is to reset your Odin counter in case that becomes an issue this is how you're going to go ahead and do it uh, you're going to need a it's called a, a download mode USB jig um, it could be called the USB dongle as well. Uh, basically, it's just this little uh, piece that plugs into your micro USB slot. Uh, you can get them on eBay. They're two dollars. That's um, I got mine. I can go ahead and post the link where I got mine. Uh, as you can see, Samsung I, on eBay, Galaxy S2 i9100 USB download mode USB jig, 99.7% uh, positive feedback from 4,000. So uh, pretty trusted. Comes from Hong Kong, so it might take a little while to ship, but. Uh, it's obviously not a big need for me right now since I don't need to return it to Sprint. The only reason I would really ever use this is if I needed to bring it back to Sprint for any reason. But um, I, honestly, to be honest, I really don't think they'll even notice if there's a number next to Odin mode. But just in case anyone would like to purchase one of these and use one, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do so. So you're going to need to turn your phone off. So my phone's off right now. So make sure your uh, Epic Touch is off. And once it's off, go ahead and plug your phone in to the USB jig. So plug it on in, just slide that on in. It should uh, turn your phone on and go into download mode. So as you can see, it's just like that. Takes into download mode just like that. It says erasing download information succeeded. So there you go, you know it worked right away. Um, it actually says erasing download information succeeded and next to custom binary download, it says no, instead of a number. So there you go right there, you know it worked right away erased your download information and it says custom bi binary download no so there you go you know it worked to get out of it you just need to pull the back cover take the battery out and uh, turn your phone back on you're good to go that's all it's going to do it's just going to reset your uh, download mode counter your odin mode counter and it, it's actually also going to give you your stock boot up screen back so just a heads up there if you do run into any problems have any questions at all feel free to ask leave a comment send me a message i'll be happy to help you out you can follow me on twitter at qbking77 all links are going to be in the description of the video be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos and as always thanks for watching hope you like the video if you guys like it be sure to give it a thumbs up thanks guys